who are we? How can we live our lives with purpose and meaning? What is it that we're looking for? Do we really need to look? Hello, I'm Neil Donald Walsh. You're about to have one of the most important moments in your life. You may not know it, but I promise you. Because we're going to have a conversation. We're going to share the insights and the awareness of some wonderful spiritual teachers who are going to take a look at the most profound questions in life. A part of you, whether you know it or not, has been longing to ask these questions of these teachers. There's a part of your soul that said, what is true about life? And how can I hear from those who have explored these questions before me? We stand, all of us, on the shoulders of giants. You're about to hear from some of those giants now. I'm very glad you're here. Ultimate experience is one consciousness, no separation. So the ultimate experience is infinite ocean of love and light with no beginning and no end. But that ultimate experience is going to become the collective experience on this planet. <laughs> so literally heaven is going to become heaven on earth. Because that infinite love and light and that acceptance is taking up residence inside humanity. And so earth is going to turn golden. And everyone's going to live in connection with themselves and who they are. And when, when I see you, I'll see you as myself and lovingly embrace you as myself. No longer see you as being different. So that's heaven. Heaven is understanding that everything is you, everything is an aspect of you. And living in that experience. You know, what's really important is your relationship with the divine, which is your relationship with your inner being. So time with your inner being to really go inside, go within, and develop that deep practice of relationship, meditation, inner listening, inner dictation, whatever you want to call it. And then being able to live from your inner being. What's already here seems to be like where the real magic is at. So my history is uh, kind of a 12 ray variety show of different ways to, to access that one simple thing, which is just getting really quiet and getting out of the way to, to let the true self emerge. Just relax. Stop trying to change anything and recognize what is already here. Then there may be changes or there may be no changes, but that's secondary to what is always here. It's possible for everyone to wake up and be free. It's possible for you. It's possible for everyone to wake up and be free. All it takes is your own willingness. First of all, you have to know it's possible. And secondly, you have to be willing. Everything else takes care of itself. Because what you're searching for is your own self. And how far is that from where you are right now? <laughs> well, every human being is on a path of awakening. And some seem more awake than others, but each of us can only take the next step to our own awakening. So when you touched your heart, it's like, yeah, we, you know, it's like coming home to who we really are inside. And, and it's happening more and more. I mean, I see more and more people are awakening, and certainly the planet is awakening. The planet is in darkening, too, but it's also awakening. And, and the contrast uh, serves to grow. The process by which we return to God is not a process by which we go anywhere but stay right where we are. In a sense, it's not a returning to God at all. It's a being of divinity in this moment, right here, right now. It's a claiming of the experience of God from within. So we're not really going anywhere. And that's the insight. 
that's the process. That's the great surprise. The great surprise is there's nowhere you have to go, nothing you have to do, and no way that you have to be except exactly how you're being right now.